Hello everybody, my name is Joe Shelton and I'm a singer, songwriter, music producer, and recording artist from Indianapolis, Indiana. Over the last year, I've stepped out and performed music on over 200 stages. Along the way though, I met a lot of great people that I didn't expect to. They were inspiring artists and songwriters and musicians, and I want to share all of that inspiration with you. So that's what this show is about. Moonshine equals love, shine and love on the music. Moonshine and music starts now. All right, welcome to Moonshine and Music. Today's guest is Paul Burris. How you doing, Paul? Welcome to the show. Great, Joe. Good to see you, buddy. Good to yeah, see you. are you sure it's good to see me? I'm, I'm, I'm I don't little, have any other choice. I'm a little, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little sketchy on what, yeah. what might happen here well, today. First off, I want to apologize for being late. I spent a little extra time with makeup today, and I just wanted to, you know, well, this just doesn't happen. You know, we'll, this. we'll make sure when we <laughs> launch the show that we launch it at like five minutes late. Okay. So that just to, uh, to compensate, yeah. right. you know, instead of it coming on at nine o'clock on Sunday morning, we'll do it at like nine o four. Okay, excellent. Uh, Does that sound good? Yeah. Well, I was <laughs> planning on doing like coming in and doing some kind of crazy Andy Kaufman thing. You know, maybe hold the place up so we get the police to come and some just get some. Well, as really long as the cameras were rolling, yeah, that you know. would be fine. Um, <laughs> you know, we don't want anybody to go to jail, but I mean, if you're willing to, Andy, I, you know, I'm, Andy will, certainly I'm really, I'm willing to commit. You know. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, where did you grow up, Paul? Were you are you an indie indie guy all the way? Well, or I, do we have some uh, deep inner secrets we need to learn today? Well, the discussion of whether I've grown up or not—that's well, uh, yeah, that's that's a good discussion. We can have this, that one too. This adulting thing—I'm coming back around to it. But <laughs> actually, I uh, was born in Irvington, Indiana, and then at the was that was that pre Unigov. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. I was two years old, so uh, you know, <laughs> when, we, <laughs> when I was born, yeah, no. Uh, then yeah. I moved out to uh, Wanamaker area. Moved oh, out lived out there. So you lived out in the sticks then? Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Well, it's it's really grown up now. There are two stoplights there now. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been through there. It's easy to hold your breath through Wanamaker. Well, you know, I I tried to. I, yeah. I, I held my breath there for about 18 years and then and moved out. And then, yeah. then moved out. <laughs> uh, so were, were you a college grad or did you go to college? I went to IU on the weekends. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that was that was the extent of it. <laughs> well, you know, I use more fun on the weekends. I find. Yeah, that's. Uh, I also, went, I, even though I was a Ball State student, I went to IU on the weekends sometimes. Oh yeah, that's, yeah, that seems to be the part of the route. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and some of the IU people would hang out with us up at, up at Muncie, so yeah, you know, I, it was a back. And you forth. know, my I have a daughter who's a freshman at, at uh, Ball State, and the same cycles running now. <laughs> <laughs> that cycle is alive and well. Exactly. It's good yeah. that we started it back in the day, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Um, so when you were a uh, when you were a wee tot, what what made you start playing music, or did it, did it happen later? Well, I, I'd have to blame that on my mom. My mom was a third grade school teacher for like forty years, and uh, she would uh, make me and my we'd listen to all her Nancy Wilson, the late Nancy Wilson music, and oh, okay. and my dad would listen to these crazy. Uh, um, uh, rambling bluegrass crazy stuff Dixieland music and uh, my mom would line us up me and my brother says and we'd make us mime uh, Kingston trio records really yeah let's talk about it <laughs> and, and she would also have us she would also would write some of the most politically incorrect music okay you know so this, and, you got this completely from your mother and she would dress us up as like you know oriental people and we'd sing the wow. worst <laughs> <laughs> on the planet but now I go back and actually look at them and it's like my god you know yeah I mean, if she was doing that now she'd have been in jail you know? <laughs> <laughs> but or, music's always been fun except I remember being uh, I came to it kind of a little later uh, when I was first in I remember being in first grade and they'd have the Christmas pageant and because I couldn't carry a tune at all they would uh, uh I'd had to dress up as um, 
they called them little black Peters, okay? <laughs> it was like some some version of Santa Claus, their elf helper. So oh, okay, all so I remember, you were like an elf. Yeah, it was an elf, but we, the only thing I remember about it is I, I got to wear Candy Barker's uh, black leotards. Oh. And I enjoyed that on a I couple see. different levels. and so. Oh, I see. <laughs> so, well, that so, explains a lot. Yeah, everything's explained in that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's fun so, stuff. So, um, when did you uh, like first start playing, like you know, uh, and writing songs? Well, I've I've always kind of like made up stuff, okay, in my head, and you know, we were, we lived out on a farm, and we had just my brothers to play with, and the the sheep, you know, and uh, so we just kind of made up stuff all the time. So it was it was all about that. But uh, I I got my first guitar when I was ten years old, and within about Two weeks, my brother had elkabonged it over my head, oh. so, so, so so there was a slight delay in, in my. I started, and also, you had to wait for the concussion to wear off. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I, I don't and think then, it ever has, but um, <laughs> ended up um, <laughs> playing. Y- y'all can laugh; it's okay. <laughs> uh, the uh, you you're know, gonna, it you're gonna end up uh, with those uh, with with those guys uh, on the uh, CTE or whatever. Are you like the, the NFL players? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Because yeah. you were Elka Bong. That's right. But uh, let's see, I started this playing. This is a cartoon reference for the young people yes. in the audience. <laughs> so I uh, started, started playing in, in high school thinking, you know, I was going to get a chance to get girls. But uh, earlier in life, I, I started so out. that didn't work? I started out in musical theater. Okay, oh, and doing stuff theater. like that. I was a member of the. Uh, uh, Black Curtain Dinner Theater for a little while. Oh wow! Yeah, it was a really pretty cool place, and uh, but you didn't make any money doing that. You ended up, you know, the only the only way you got paid there is they just left the bar open. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, that's and I, 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 they went out of business shortly after yeah. I started. <laughs> after so. you started with the theater, <laughs> that's right. There so. was a desperate loss in revenue. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. But uh, as far as writing and all, I played back in the whole. Late 70s, early 80s, I uh, had a group, a uh, friend of mine, Tony Cooley, uh, we're in a group called the Never Late for Supper Band. You, oh. know, you can call us anything, just don't call us late for supper. You know? I love that. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and we, we were out doing kind of Americana music before you know it happened and on. But then I had a, I had a child. And then turned around, and that kind of curtailed, you know, availability to play. But uh, <laughs> um, next thing I know, you know, like I tell people, I could have that. Six kids, two and a half wives later. I, two and a half wives? Yeah, that's. Uh, you don't have enough beer here to. Uh, how, how do we get a half? That's the real. That was magic. Okay. <laughs> 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 well, anyway, so um, but we played a lot around the time, and I had a lot of energy, a lot of like a lot of energy. You see the young folks that are playing now today, and commitment to it and all. But I just didn't have anything to say. You know, oh. it was the same. You know, hey, my baby left me, heart's on my sleeve. You know, and and so my first realization that you needed to get out and live life. To be able to write a good song, you gotta live something. You know, you gotta you gotta right. have heartache. You've gotta have uh, nights of just craziness. You know, you've gotta have all the emotions to be able to come to pick from. You know, and so I've got I've got a bit of that. You uh-huh. know, and and the one fun thing about playing now is uh, every time I play. Somebody from 20, 30, 40 years ago might show up. And last night it was a guy, uh, our kids grew up together on the same street. We were in a bowling alley and he just showed up at the gig. And so I got, oh, wow. so I got to, you know, dedicate morning wood to him. You know? <laughs> Are we going to get to hear that classic today? I don't know what to play today. I, 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 I feel like Morning Wood has to happen. It's like, you know. Well, that, a, that, that, morning, morning Wood already happened. Okay. <laughs> we're in the afternoon now. so Well, you know. Afternoon delight time. Right? You know, you can, you, can, you can report on us as to what it was like this morning. <laughs> well, <laughs> same old tune. Yes. <laughs> but, um, the... Um, you know when you're when you're uh, you know coming through there, and you're and you're playing all these uh, different places. What what's some of the uh, craziest things that have happened to you? Because when I'm when I'm talking to the guys that have been around a while, I want to know uh, you know some of the the deep dark stories of the road. Oh, you you have you have crazy things that happen. I mean you know times when. You have a great response, you know, or you, uh, other times you have no response. 
<laughs> and you, you just kind of learn how to work with all that. I uh, did a benefit one time. A local bar owner um, got cancer and she didn't have any insurance. You know, this was pre Affordable Care Act. And um, <laughs> so we had a benefit for her, and it was a great time. Pig roast, all kinds of crazy stuff, and all. And I played for an hour. And of course, it was all original music, and people didn't shut up the whole time. Just bah, 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 bah. in the final kind of time, uh, Paul Rippey. Uh, you know, announce to the crowd, hey, let's hear from Paul, he's really doing a great job. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Even with that. So I, Even so, with the prompt. So I just grabbed my beer and just said, I'm playing anyway, you know. And, and I think one of the most memorable time, there was a, actually two concerts. Um, one weekend, uh, I we used to have a, a, a group of uh, guys from a local... Uh, Motorcycle gang, oh, okay. who, who were nice. who were big fans, and they would come to gigs and uh, uh, got invited to play a, uh, a a birthday party for for them. And the fact that I had agreed to play for a biker club made my uh, partner, Tony, really nervous, okay? <laughs> so every day he was at my door. He was concerned. Every day he was at my door and he, we were working on set lists and we were working on We never worked so hard on a gig before. <laughs> and he, uh, um, so we got to the gig and we had it all mounted out, fiddle tunes, banjo tunes, harmonies, the whole the whole thing and we're we're playing and as we're playing along and there were a, a bunch of young gals there and they were enjoying what we were doing and there was one guy uh, they they ever they had nicknames, okay, all the right. bikers, you know. This there was a guy named Shit Slinger right, and <laughs> and a guy named uh, High Pockets, okay. And High Pockets was walking around with a sawed off shotgun twirling it around and shooting it off in the air, okay? <laughs> And we 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 took. We, I'll get your attention. Yeah, real it was quick. interesting. And so, so in the middle of a break, in the middle of a break, my buddy Tony goes out in the middle of this cornfield to, to take a uh, to relieve himself, and uh, High Pockets follows him out there, twirling the shotgun, shooting it off in the air, and he says, he says, you know all those, he says Tony all those. Uh, all those, uh, you know, harmonies are really nice and all those songs and stuff. You know, the girls seem to like them, but that's all really good. But I really like them fiddle tunes, okay? Uh-huh. Okay, so we come back to the, uh, um, <laughs> come back to this, this show, and for the rest, of the rest of the night, we played nothing but fiddle tunes. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. So, so that that was an interesting uh, evening. But the good news but was nobody got hurt. Nobody no, got hurt. No injuries. Not, not while we were there. Not okay. while you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the funnest thing was though uh, that kind of had us really prepared. We had we had all these sets and we had all this stuff worked out, beginnings and endings, and you know good jams. And we walked into uh, the next weekend. We we're doing a. Uh, Oh, uh, I think it was the Irvington JC's annual um, fest, you know, some kind of sale thing, rummage sale. And, right. Uh, and uh, they came up and asked us if we would uh, uh, open up for a musical thing they had on the circle there that night before, that night. And I'm so sure it was. Well, it was the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra. Oh, and you okay. were opening for the Symphony yeah, Orchestra? Yeah, so one weekend we did a biker uh, birthday, <laughs> and the next weekend we did open for the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra, and we figured, well, we pretty much have done it all now. Uh, you know? <laughs> that's pretty killer. <laughs> yeah, it was fun stuff, yeah. <laughs> well, are you about ready to jump up there and uh, make your make the, make the the world happy? Somebody's got to do it. So, if yeah. somebody's going to do it, it might as well be you. It might as well and be we me. Can, and we can do it four minutes late. That's really no problem. Okay. That's what you're into. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I didn't even notice, man. We were running a little behind today, well, so really thank you for coming. Well, I got show. I got halfway here and forgot my guitar. I always forget <laughs> something, and, but usually it's like a pick or it you know, seems, a battery. It seems like you something know? important to have <laughs> yeah. is the actual instrument that you're going to play. I, I did, yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I, you know what? I I, I I feel for you. The other day, I uh, was parked and I went into the office building that I work at during the day. Uh -huh. Got all the way to the office and realized that I didn't bring my backpack with my laptop in it out of the car. Oh, great! Great. So well, I, we're, you know, we're brothers in that. Yeah. Well, that's one advantage I have. I work from home now, so I oh, the only thing I have to remember is pants. Oh, that's great. <laughs> well, let's get you up there, all right, man. Let's do we'll it. We'll be right back with Paul Burris on Moonshine and Music. Look out! Thank you, Paul. Yeah, bud. 
Hi, my name is Paul Burris, and you're not. So this is a song from a group I was in called The Nephews. It was Nephusion. It was unk music, okay? I started, yeah, you can laugh, it's okay. the sun don't shine Cause it's all the sorrow I'll ever need As if tomorrow we're guaranteed Beg, steal, or borrow Or else concede You think I'll follow Just cause you lead And it's my choice And when we pick it We'll take our own sweet time And in a clear voice Tell them to stick it Where the sun don't shine We do. Well, here we go. I think you've heard this one at the Square Cat. There's always somebody. Coming to this town There's always somebody With the newer sound There's always somebody Listen to them play Sounds like all them same old songs About the one that got away I can't help but wonder what rock have they been under? Are they here just to plunder and steal our hearts away? Away! Come on, clap your hands, folks. 
on the seven and the nine. There's always somebody with a newer sound. There's always somebody coming through the sound. There's always somebody in a brand new voice. Get their picture in the paper. Bound to be the people's choice. I can't help but wonder What rock have they been under? Are they here just to plunder And steal our hearts away? Singing new country songs Over that classic rock and roll So we all can sing along There's always somebody Down at the local sports bar Singing all them stolen hits Trying to be a jukebox star And I can't help but wonder rock will they crawl under I don't mean to steal the thunder I just wish they'd go where their wagon we will roll roll on buddy roll on buddy All right, y'all ready to sing now? This this is a uh, r romantic ballad <laughs> that uh, I get to pick on people with. So uh, let's let's just give it a shot, shall we? Okay. Usually we're all a lot drunker when we do this song. Let's see if I can remember it. See, I'm usually drunk when I'm here. Isn't that sweet? We came home from the tavern and it was quite late. We really had hit the town. And because our encounter had been one of fate, we started fooling around. Well, I soon discovered love I could not make with the room spinning around in my mind. And so rain check was forced to take asking when would be the best time and she said morning word morning word brings a tear to your eye, don't it? <laughs> she 
See, cause I had my memories as a young man While I was still just a boy I woke up one morning to dawn's early light To find that I had a new toy So I asked my dear mother, hey, what could this be? And she said to me, quite annoyed, said, go ask your father, don't be bothering me. Dad said, son, you will always enjoy morning wood. Everybody, morning wood. Moonshine and Music is a presentation of Not Less Entertainment. Copyright 2018, all rights reserved. Our producer for today's show was Joe Shelton. Our cameraman grip and stunt double was Brent Lee Smith. And also helping out on cameras, setup, and all sorts of other things, Bailey Shelton. Thank you for joining us, and join us next week on Sunday for Moonshine and Music.